Hi, this is Bruce Swanson with Mentor Graphics. I'd like to introduce you to Test and Shell Design Introspection and Design Editing. With Test and Shell, you can perform many kinds of design edits right in the DFT environment. You can add custom DFT logic into the design, insert logic blocks or on chip clock controllers or clock gators, implement engineering change orders, add a second tap controller or insert IO pad cells or maybe create a custom design rule check and then fix any design issues that are found. Let me start with telling you about collections. Collections are very similar to tickle lists. Test and Shell can handle lists and collections, but collections do not exist outside of Tessin because they deal with design objects in our own data structures. For this reason, we also provide commands like for each in collection to handle collections effectively. We have a number of commands that get information from the design. We call this design introspection. For example, you can easily create collections of specified design objects with our get commands, like get pins. Collections can also be assigned to tickle variables, as shown here. The design's data objects have attributes, which can be built-in attributes, or also user-defined attributes if you choose to add them. This example shows a number of introspection commands and how they can be used together to get information or to accomplish a task. Typically, get commands are used as a way to efficiently search the design database for design objects. Once those objects are found, many different actions can be performed, such as reporting or editing. When creating collections of design objects with the various get commands, you can also specify filtering equations that evaluate the values of the attributes on those objects. The example shows getting all pins with either attribute myType1 or myType2 equal to the value of ABC. Design connectivity can also be examined by getting a pins fan in or fan out, or by tracing through the flattened design data model. In addition to finding design objects, the idea of introspecting can be expanded to also find tool and command settings and values. Test and Shell works on editing either gate-level designs or RTL-level. Make sure to set the correct context before loading the design files. When you've finished your editing, use the right design command to save your changes. Here's a list of all of the create commands. You can use these commands, like create instance, within a design to add gates, cells, modules, and then connect to them. You can even create a whole design or test circuit from scratch using these commands. The example on the right shows the creation of a small module with three instances inside of it, the one pictured on the left. Removing or deleting design objects is easy to do with the delete commands. There are also a variety of commands available to modify the design in different ways, such as moving connections and replacing instances. This example shows the use of the intercept connection command to add a multiplexer before the specified pin. Other simple logic gates can also be used with the interception, like inverters, AND gates, and OR gates, etc. When you want to view the design schematic or the changes you've made, use either the design or the debug windows within DFT Visualizer. Thanks for your time and attention. If you need more information, please contact your local Mentor Graphics representative. Thank you.